No, 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 no. What the hell? Oh, 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 oh. No. Ah. Oh my god, what is wrong with this place? No. <laughs> no, no. Oh, that brings back memories right there. This is the reason my achievements were disabled for a long time, and I had to go in creative and reset all my spawners, because they looked like this at one point. Wow. What? What the heck? This one's just all messed up. No loot? What the... Oh, okay. Well, that's weird. <laughs> it is that time, Adventure Cap. Is this the end? 2x... Oh. Our first piece of armor. Wow. My boots and pants are about there, too. What do we do with it? We only have an area for tools. Dallas' office. I only have one spot left. Wow. Dang. Yeah, we're going to have to make a new spot. Since I'm never down here anyway, I want to make a new retirement room, too. So. Oh, the bell's back. Oh. This was a glitch for a while where the gold part wasn't here and it looked like a stick sticking out. And I wanted to put a parrot on it so bad. But there was a glitch at the time as well, and it still is, where you can't pick up your parrots. Dang it. Holy crap, I forgot about my closet in here. Look at all of this building material and glass. What the? So today, I really wouldn't mind trying to get my butler in this house. Um, this is going to be my best friend when I'm here. Well, when I have oinkers here, he's my best friend too. But Yes, I finally want a villager roaming throughout the house, and of course, it's going to be a butcher, so... Before I bring him over here, if I can get one, that is, I need to lock this place down. It is not finished, I think. Wait, how am I going to do this if I have wooden doors? Wait, duh. I mean, if they count this as their house, they're not going to wander off outside. They'll always come back here. So, yeah, we're going to have to make a butler's room. I guess we'll give him this bed here. But hey, everyone, by the way, I didn't really greet you back. Um, I think I do have, well, someone. Do I have a oh, baby? I have a butcher in here. Lots of cartographers. <laughs> Alright, I haven't traded with you yet, right? I have. I haven't traded with you, right? I have. Have I traded with you? I have. No. Alright, baby it is. Hopefully they don't grow up to be a nitwit. I don't think they do. <laughs> you big head. Should probably wait until you grow up. But let's see if he goes to that bed. Go. Go in the house. Okay, he just took the bed. That is good news. I blocked off every entrance, but I don't think that'll be a problem. Uh, God, get out. Okay, so this is... <laughs> we hired a kid as our butler. Awesome. Um, so I do have two smokers right here. Hopefully he'll take those. I do have composters. So there might be a chance he'll become a farmer. All right, buddy, your name is going to be Butler Bill. <laughs> uh, just grow up. Oh, no. Look at all these barrels, too. There might be a chance he'll be a fisherman as well. I gotta look that up. What decides if there's a lot of different things to choose from? Grow up. Just do it. I hear a grown man in here. Please don't be... Oh, you're a... F oh. No, you're a nitwit. Oh, my God, you're a freaking nitwit. Or do you just not... Are you... Are you a... You're going to be the test subject. If you survive this in here, you're going to be Butler Bill. But if you die, we'll go actually get a butcher and then make this place more secure. And then that'll be that. Okay. I actually want to work in here today. While I was waiting for him to grow up, I was walking around in here. And we have a piano here. And this was made because I want to have a certain few keys, just like Batman, pressed. And then it'll open up a secret lair. And this is going to lead us down into... Stay in the kitchen. <laughs> Our secret base. And I think I want a secret staircase to pop out right here. And then it'll lead under here to something special. That's a good buck. Hey, Timmy Tim. Oh, God. <laughs> that scared me. Yeah, so we're still here in the mansion. It's the next day for me, but I have got some good newses and bad newses. I've been working on the place. 
upstairs. Um, did I really do much in here? I added some barrels up there. <laughs> but yeah, I think I left off. We were making our butler and thinking about doing a thing underground here. Um, butler died. Yep, he's dead. So did Oinkers. <laughs> Dang it, man. Oinkers is gone. You know why? I was AFK here watching PewDiePie and he wa a creeper walked around the corner and just blew him up. Simple as that. Yep, it's kind of sad. Well, before I show you anything, let's go bury him. Hmm, how significant was Oinkers? Ah, this looks good. <laughs> hey, I gotta start using all these up, even if they're really small, okay? Crap, when did I get them? Hey, hey, I know you. I know how awesome you are to help me out. I know how kind you are to find when I got Oinkers. That would help me out so much, okay. <laughs> There you go, little buddy. Rest in peace. I know you lived your life mostly on a leash in my mansion without being fed. No, Derpy came over a few times. Fed him some carrots. Rest in peace, buddy. Oh, I got to enter him into my log. Almost forgot about this thing. Have we had anyone else die since then? Nope. Stop. Oh. Oh, yeah, just the disappearances. It's kind of crazy thinking I can go through this graveyard and, like, look at certain things and what is that cow doing? And actually feel like, holy crap, I remember this. And look, I forgot how long Liam survived. All right, we'll get back to the mansion in a moment, don't worry. But while we're right here at the front of the house, don't have my journal on me. I do in here, though. Not that it matters, I remember. Oh, man, we're getting so many books in this world. Entities around house. So as you know, this spawner hasn't spawned anything in a long time. Why have I been so dumb? <laughs> Look how many fish I have there. Look at that random horse. Look at all them sheep. You know how many cats and dogs I have around here? They're not spawning because I have so many animals around here. And the only way to fix that is to start spreading them out through my world, kill off some of the fish, and actually put them in the stables. Um, and I think I want to try to do that. All right, Super Carl and Tina, you can stay in here. Oh, I didn't name you yet. Yeah, you can go out in the stable. Oh, it's so handy having them right here, though. Uh, maybe you can stay. Okay, um, fishy. Wait, where's the salmon? Is the salmon still in here? There you are. <laughs> um, do I have my goggles on? Good. Don't get away from the trap door. I can't remember if I have a puffer fish down here or not. Oh, God, I'm gonna drown. Uh, this is just totally random. Like Thanos' snap, I'm gonna die. Oh, open. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Nah, oh, that was me. Okay, I love you chickens, but you're going to have to go. I mean, <laughs> all this really thing is is kind of like an egg thing. Sniffles, you're going to have to relocate. Uh, Garfield. Oh my god, I have so many cats. What is this one? Uh, and this one doesn't even have a nose. This one is so glitched out. Like, it's stuck in the banner. It won't move. Okay, oh. You hear that? Spider fell. You got Bobby in here. Oh my god. I have so many chickens around Derpy. Alright guys, welcome to the big house. You can snuggle with me when I sleep, so he'll stay there. Sniffles will stay downstairs. Oh, oh. Alright. So as you can tell, I relocated the piano. I did that because right below here is actually the wine cellar. And I kind of like it over here better, but um, as you know, we are going to build a secret trap door. And I think I want it to go right here, but it's already done. So let's go ahead and go down there. <laughs> so if I do that, oh, did you see that, Sniffles? We got a full staircase that leads us down into, oh my God, this hurts looking at it, but it looks so good in my opinion. So as you know, the Batcave in the Dark Knight trilogy is actually a cave, but in the Dark Knight Rises, you'll actually see him go in a place like this with Alfred that has, it's like a kind of a low ceiling, huge garage with a whole light panel across the ceiling and I love it. So yeah, I had to sacrifice a lot of these. That was actually all of them. Oh gosh. This isn't as big as I wanted either. I wanted to go a little bit further that way and maybe expand this wall over there. But basically what we're going to do on here is add a lot of different technical redstone stuff where we can test things, armor, whatever. I know there's a lab for that, but I also want to do some stuff here. Might even connect us to the lab. But yeah, walk right out. Actually, I should probably add a closing function down there. Um, just walk on the piano and it's all sealed up. I'm starting to think now though, this is the, wait, 
Yeah, you can't have birch buttons, can't you? Should I replace these with buttons and connect them to note blocks so they'll actually play? We'll have a total of four whole keys to play from. And then it'll actually be me pressing it instead of walking on the piano. Should I do that? Oh, missed it. <laughs> How do you make these things again? Isn't it just a diamond and wood? Is that Rice Neville's? No, that's a jukebox. Wait, is it simpler than that? Oh, wait, is it just wood and... Wow, okay. Okay, so I just have as this very left key is activating it. So how am I going to do... I guess I can put one note block back here for this because the redstone has to be under it. This one can go under. I guess all these can go under. This one just goes back here. So do you just not move? Is that the key? Oh, man, this is a holdup. Take anything you want. Not anything. I need that, actually. Oh! God dang it. <laughs> I moved. Is that it? You just can't move, huh? Uh-oh. Yo, I cannot figure out the piano key for the life of me. Is there one? What the? Wait, is that it? It's freaking grass. That took longer than it should have. I had to put that one way back there, so... Will that do the trick? Do that, that, that. Boom, boom, boom. No. No. It doesn't work. There's the top. Oh, that's lame. The top has to be open. I have reached a dilemma. I feel like I'm okay with redstone, but when it comes to compact redstone, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I want to power each of these. We're going to have a key right here, here, and here, as you can tell. And I want each one of these keys to power that. But, of course, you can't put redstone dust right here because then they'll all power one of them or all of them. And I don't know why I thought this would work, but no, it has to... See, yeah. Redstone signal has to enter that through that side, so I can't use that. If you know a way where I can power that block with this button without hitting these, let me know. <laughs> Got the rest of the lights installed upstairs. I thought it would look strange with these... Oh, I don't have them all in with these here, but I actually like it. I'm going to be displaying stuff right here. I haven't decided yet, but I think this looks good. Finished all these up. I don't know if I like those stands there. Um, finished these up. These weren't even finished, so that room is completely finished. Now I'm connecting the sky bridge finally to this part of the house. Oh, crap. Died in my own hangar. Only if I had that tank in here. No, you monsters! Fred, how'd they get in? No! Oh, you, oh my god. You better have not touched Fred. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Just get out. No. Even the nitwit? Nitwit didn't deserve that. Fred, are you in here, please? No, it got Fred. How'd they get in? That's the first security breach you've ever had in this place. Don't tell me. Yes, it was. I oh, This simple mistake right here. Been around this whole mountain. They're in a cave down here. Can you believe that? Oh, God. Hello? Oh, my God. This is scary. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Up. Uh. It's for Fred. <laughs> you think that's what he actually does? He just sticks out his tongue and goes... <laughs> if so, it works on me. <laughs> what? There's a mine shaft down here? No way. This is... By oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. This is good news. This is very good news. We're right next to our house, kind of. Okay, I'm gonna die. Shouldn't have messed with them. Get up. Oh, right in my ear. All right. Oh my gosh, is this all it is? Oh, I'd love to like make a research lab here. Good job. But how did they get in again? Are, I. <laughs> they must be spawning in here. Oh my god, you did work. Holy crap. Better not be in here. 
Am I gonna have to break into my own lab just to... Oh my God, I gotta sneak up on these guys. I think they broke into the lab again. Are they in the bee study? Oh my God, he was. Did you see him when I walked in? I didn't. God. They're in scoop production, aren't they? No. Uh, how the heck do you even get down here? Do they just spawn wherever? This is why I avoid raids at all costs now. They just take forever and they destroy everything. What are those things? Oh, they're zombie villagers. Whoa, they look cool. Well, where are you from? Oh. See, if this wasn't going on right now, I'd so collect these guys and... Why am I... Oh, we need to make a zombie conversion lab. Oh my god. <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't have went that route. Uh <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I will admit, I still enjoy raids. They just take up a lot of time. Like, now I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to do because I'm going to have to... In the recording here, but hey, at least we've got two stacks of emeralds. Dr. Fred perished. Man, that sucks. I'm gonna have to make him a grave. Two people died this episode. That is such a shame. No. 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 Now, is it just me? Wait. Did they add it? No, he doesn't look damaged, but. Is it Java, or am I just... Did I dream it? Didn't they add it where you... Uh, once these guys get kind of hurt, they start rusting a bit, and then you walk up to them with iron, and it repairs them. I think that was in Java, wasn't it? I sure hope they add that to this, because that is actually a really cool feature. You can see how low their health is, and you can repair them when you want. Oh, I'd make an iron golem workshop. Oh, that'd be cool. So it's like an area where you can work on your golems. <laughs> Don't come in here. Actually, I probably should put one in here. Okay, our next scientist will be this lucky fellow. No, get back here. You're going to be Dr. Bean, okay? I <laughs> uh, think I'm going to focus on that next episode is actually finishing up and securing some of the lab bit to where that won't happen. They also, I think, came through there because they can. And if you didn't notice already, I am expanding this way. I decided not to do a small expansion. I'm actually doing a big one. It's going to be the size of this hallway. And it's going to go down this way for a long way. Obviously, we won't... I'll probably put another entrance to the village simulation over here. And then we're going to have some more labs and stuff over this way. Today's comment question of the day... What, what was that? God, that was scaring me. Comes from... Taylor Moreno. How do you keep yourself from switching to creative and cheating? Now, I'll pick this one in particular because... Oh, I hate this glitch. You have to drop it and pick it up. Then you can do it. <laughs> but I picked this one in particular because you guys have no idea how many comments I get all the time. And sometimes they'll just be simple as this. Cheating. Or cheater. <laughs> like I get so many comments of just people saying cheater. And then they just leave. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can understand that from their viewpoint. Because they've never seen my channel before. And then they come on to a Minecraft Let's Play. And see all of this I built... And they just can't imagine doing that themselves, so they instantly assume I've cheated in this world. Um, like, like I always say, the closest I've gotten to cheating in this world, which isn't cheating, was going into creative to fix my mob spawn. I, I said that in the beginning of this episode, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's the closest I've ever gone to cheating in this world, and that was to obviously fix an old pocket edition bug that ruined my mob spawners. Um, but how do I keep myself from doing it? Like, I don't get how people could ask that question, <laughs> because... I think it's straightforward when I think about it, and it's just like, if I go to creative and seek to cheat, which is bringing blocks over because I can't, I'm tired of trying to do it in survival, that just ruins my mood for the whole world. Like, I don't have that genuine feel anymore, like, this is all 100% survival. I don't get how people can do that. I'm a completely different breed, I guess. I have to do everything in survival, otherwise I lose that feeling of a genuine survival let's play world. That's how I look at it. You guys can play Minecraft however the way you want. Um, but I feel I get most satisfaction out of survival. So thank you guys for watching today's episode. Uh, I wanted to get more done in the lab at the end, but that stupid raid. I didn't plan to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for coming by and watching. Bye-bye.